I'm wasting time guys, surf and turf. Let me show you how easy it is to make the best surf and turf ever. Don't blink. All right, Wilson's coming by around four guys and we gotta make our food right now. So, three potatoes going in for our mashed potato. One cup of flour to two tablespoons of paprika. I got some sliced onions here. I'm just gonna dump it in. I should have mixed the paprika with the flour first, but you know what, we're in this already. Let's mix it in. We have no time. Nothing to it, we got some oil here. Everybody into the pool. I don't care if they can swim. They just gotta get in. Cooking time until desired crispiness, guys, or five minutes. Five minutes in, scoop out that goodness. Next, we move this to the side here. We take our tray, not a tray, our pan here with two tablespoons of butter. We let that butter melt. A tablespoon of garlic here. Okay, garlic nice and sauteed. Got a case of cremini mushroom here. A little salt, bam bam, a little pepper. Toss this in. And we let this sweat out. I said 420, <laughs> and he came at three. <laughs> Just sit and chill. All right, mashed potatoes. I'm just gonna pour this out. Yo, here. Yo, the boys up, here. <laughs> the, early, way too I, early. I got the goods, man. Yo, what's the beers at? I've got. Is it the, the beer I was trying last time? No, this is the blonde. You like the blonde? Oh yeah, okay. The wolf is the newest one, and then I actually got you a magazine with all the. All oh the nice, top nice, nice, so nice. So enjoy it, yep. and I'm gonna leave you to. <laughs> Yo, crack it open. Okay, mashed potatoes, guys. So I just pour a little water out, and I'm just gonna. Mash it. Sure. Broccoli going in, guys. Got eight pieces of bacon here going in. A handful of onions, a tablespoon of garlic, two cups of chicken stock going in, a tablespoon of tomato paste. And those are mussels. One cup of heavy whipped cream going in. Our mussels complete. I'm gonna throw into my bowl here. To this, some chopped green onions, our veggies. So, guys, that's not water, it's butter. Very good butter. All right. Don't come at me with that. Mashed potatoes on the side here. And then King crab going in. We're just gonna heat this up for about two minutes. Steak and shrimp time. So two tablespoons of olive oil in each. Shrimp going in, guys. Ribeye. Mid-rare each. So we're gonna do three minutes on each side. For the steak, a little heavy on the salt, guys. Because it is a thick piece. And pepper. There it is. Two tablespoons of mayonnaise to two tablespoons of sweet chili here. I'm gonna take my shrimp, pop it in. That's all we're gonna do right now. So we gotta start placing our meat, our beautiful meat, on the counter here. And our king crab here. Then get our beautiful shrimp here. Get our fried onions. Just like that. Get our Cajun butter. And finish it off. Make everything gourmet. Gotta get that good chives. Chives on anything. Makes everything gourmet. Right, Wilson? <laughs> <laughs> Look, he's slapping in the oh back. <laughs> Come through, guys. Your surf and turf feast complete. Wilson's waiting. <laughs> Let's eat. Time to eat, guys. Oh, this guy, like, he came right on time, guys. Totally <laughs> on time. Came right on time. Thank, Thank you for having me back. Hey, no, it's my pleasure. Really? Is like, hey, this all you said? It's my pleasure. It's, no, no, it's my pleasure. No, it's my pleasure. pleasure. Okay. Yeah, man. It's been, um... You guys? The knife dealer. The knife dealer. My name is Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, where should we start? The Actually, you, um, you want to introduce your beer first? Because I kind of did like a bad, I, or I kind of did a bad introduction of the beer. Oh. Because okay. I was like, it kind of tastes like uh, Budweiser. Like a lot of people hate when I say, hey, I only drink Budweiser. People are yeah. like, there's more selection than Budweiser. People are just like... You know, Quan, there's more beer than Budweiser. Yeah. So this is my buddy, uh, my buddy's beer, Taylor's beer, yeah. Taylor Falk's beer, and he made uh, this blonde ale. And then I'll put the, the description or a link right here, guys. So if you guys want to check it out. So uh, my other buddy Andrew, he actually makes an Alberta craft beer guide here locally, and what he does is Cajun he butter. travels all over the place uh, drinking beer. 
That's the life, man. That's the life. And <laughs> what he does is he gets all the breweries and then he puts it in a magazine so people that actually want to go visit a local brewery, they can totally do it. So this is the blonde ale. Tasting notes. And I don't want to butcher it like you. Yeah. <laughs> this is like Budweiser, <laughs> but creamier. <laughs> That's what it tastes like. Legit, that's what it tastes like. <laughs> Thanks for the bread. Um, our most approachable offering, this beer features a soft, malty, bread-like character that comes from Alberta barley and wheat that leads into subtle citrus notes from BC grown Cascade hops. A smooth mouth feel, a simple malt bill complement a subtle hop profile <laughs> provides a very subdued bitterness. So what that means is, it's uh, a very creamy Budweiser. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> that's what it translates to. That's what I said. Uh, we actually drank another one uh, just when Fong was cooking, and it was the hazy pale ale called the Wolf. Uh, that one's really good too. So, yeah. So this is the sea change right here. You can actually see it because it's like nice and creamy too, right? Yeah. Like when you pour it, not like like watery. Yeah. I want to say. No, it's good. It's uh, this is a very easy drinking beer. You can just crush this one. Any time of day. What, what would you say the note it is? Like the notes? Malt? It's uh, what is it? Citrusy, malty. Yeah, that's the one we were coffee. drinking. We're, that's the that's the one we were drinking before. Right? Oh, um, this one's citrusy. I don't, I don't remember tasting any citrus in this. This one is. Sorry guys, I know I'm a bad beer pourer, but yeah, that's. Oh, no, that's that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Gotta top it up. It says uh, it has subtle citrus notes. Citrus note. Yeah. So it's just, I, I guess it's really subjective depending on, because I know most people that drink beer, they're like, oh, it tastes like beer, I don't like it. Yeah, yeah. But then, oh, cheers. Cheers, guys. Cheers, guys. Wait, 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 don't give them a sip. Oh, there's no, kids like, out there. Oh, sorry. These kids will take a sip, man. Don't, don't give them it. <laughs> don't give them it. <laughs> I would be the dad that would be yeah. like, all right, little Jimmy, just, <laughs> here, have, have a sip. Just have a sip. sip. That's good. I swear that's creamy. It is good. That is creamy and good. Yep. Sooner or later, my beer will come out, and you'll have some. Yeah, more. I can't wait. Back. This guy. I didn't tell you guys. This guy's brewing his own beer. Was it the lychee beer? I'm gonna do a lychee beer, and then next year I'll do like a, some sort of coffee stout or coffee lager or right. some sort of dark beer. So that's the. So that's pretty awesome. Yeah. Well, let's get into it, man. It's been okay. Let's it's eat. been like a while. No, it's been like how long? Well, you came at three. I didn't come at four twenty. Yeah. So it's been like an hourish. So it's very cold. I think I'm gonna attack the uh, muscles first. I tried. All right. Tell me what you think. I'm not gonna ruin this. Oh, okay. You gotta give him a bite. I'm gonna do it because <laughs> I, I missed it last time. So I'm sorry. So here, take the first bite. Focus. <laughs> Focus. Oh. Take the first bite. Ooh. Did they get it? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> It's cold. You should heat it up. Not good. It's so good. Get some um, Get steak in there. Oh my god, yeah, let's let's get up the steak, dude. I should have a spoon. Okay. Mm. Let's get some steak. 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 let the rest of my knives, and that looks a little something like this. I don't know if you can see it, but ta-da! Look at this guy. Anyway, <laughs> so I'm gonna give you this one as your steak knife. Oh, mm. that's called the petite carver. It's not a steak knife. It's just just use it, <laughs> and then I'm gonna cut the knife. <laughs> it's okay. You're gonna cut everything, and I'll just use this one. Oh, not smart. No, it's all good. Is it a bread cutter? That is not the bread cutter. You don't... It was not the bread cutter. Um, this one is. This one's a slicer. And then this mm. is the one that you have. Mmm, this one right here. Are you showing me that? This one? Oh, yeah. It's like a peanut butter spreader, you said? Yeah. But, anyway. Yeah, dude, don't worry about knives, man. You'll, you'll, you'll be fine. You don't ever have to worry about knives again, man. That's my knife dealer. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God, dude. We gotta eat it because it's getting, well, it is cold already. I almost feel like I wanna talk, but at the same time, I'm like, you gotta eat? Yeah, I wanna, I, wanna, I also wanna eat. And this time, I'm gonna eat a lot more. <laughs> like, way more. Yeah, people are, people are on your case for that, right? Yeah. 
You didn't eat anything last time. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm gonna eat. <laughs> like, like you know what? I'm just gonna eat this giant thing of broccoli that you cooked. No, just broccoli. <laughs> no, you're not bored me, some man. The host always have to get down. The oh, yeah. the hosty. I don't know. The the guest. The guest. The yeah. hosty. Oh my god, yeah, dude, cook me up. Oh. <laughs> That's an understatement. <laughs> yeah, you want some shrimp? Oh, yes, please. Thank you. Is that in the way? Can people see? No, people can't even see. We're Did eating this. Can see it? I think we should move. Should we just move a bowl? Move some of this? Should we, like, eat it? Look at that. On a block. Show them your plate. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh sweet lord. Is it too bright? No, it's, Might be too bright. it's pretty good. I'm gonna eat all this. I think my camera's overheating again. Oh my god, it's so good. Like it? Maybe we should move this. Let's go! <laughs> yeah. Okay, let me move all this so we eat on there so everybody sees what we're eating. Sure. Oh. King crab. Some bro I don't even want broccoli in. Okay, Just well, for the color. <laughs> <laughs> well, I you gave me broccoli, you didn't grab your broccoli. I know. <laughs> I thought, yo, yo, you put chives, that's gourmet. That yeah, green, that enough. broccoli green, that's yeah. gourmet. That's all you need. I feel like I need to eat like you and just start using my hands and just not care. Just do it. Steak's a little rare. Oh my god. Mmm. A little rare for you? Let's see. Mid rare. Rare. Blue rare. Blue rare. Eat that blue rare. This is what I see you do all the time. Does it work? Do I have mm -hmm. the, the magic? <laughs> he doesn't have the magic. No, <laughs> sorry guys. No fat piece guys. I just ate it. You like the fat piece? Mm-hmm. Maximum keto. Maximum <laughs> keto. So what's so funny about you making shrimp? <clears throat> so in 2012, mm. I went to Maui, right? Yeah. And they, there's a food chain there called Bubblegum Shrimp. Mm -hmm. And at that point, I would just eat shrimp, mm. right? I loved it, it was really good. And then there's this one uh, day where I had swimmer's ear, so you had like water in your ear and you couldn't get it out, right? So I was mm -hmm. like, okay, whatever. I had all you can eat fried shrimp, yeah, normal shrimp, whatever shrimp you want, it's yeah. all you can eat, right? Yeah. So that night, when we finished the restaurant, I decided to like get the air pump and mm -hmm. like try to get rid of my swimmer's ear with this like little eardrop and bulb. Mm -hmm. And I screwed up my equilibrium. What's that? So when you get too dizzy, it's like your your ears, right? Like yeah, yeah. The equilibrium. So I screwed that up yeah. because I, I kept flushing my ear for yeah. like an hour, right? I was yeah. like, oh, please get it out. Then I started puking. Damn. Yeah. So after I started puking and puking and puking, I started dry puking. And then I haven't really eaten more than like six pieces of shrimp. Mm -hmm. Like this shrimp, I'm pretty much good for like the next year. <laughs> Well, what happened? What? I just puked. It was just like one of those things where like, it's like, have you ever drank so much? Yeah. That you're like, oh, I don't want to drink this type of drink anymore. Mm -hmm. It's like that. And it, for me, it was shrimp. But this shrimp, on the other hand, yo. You say you're allergic to shrimp? Imagine. Were you allergic to shrimp? <laughs> no, 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 no. I just puked. Because mm. <clears throat> my equilibrium just made me like feel really woozy and nauseous. Mm -hmm. And I just started puking that mm -hmm. way. So it's like. I'm gonna eat the shrimp. I'm gonna kill it. It's gonna don't be so die good. On me. And then I'm never gonna eat shrimp until next year. Oh, don't die on me. Dude, how good would it be if I was like, oh, by the way, I'm allergic to shrimp, but I still eat it anyway? Well, can I have your shoes? <laughs> you can I keep my eyes. <laughs> Go ahead. You know, I kinda want this steak a little more warm and more cooked. What, really? No, this is. I'm, I'm good you with this. A bit more? No, I'm good. It's a little cold on me. Now that's really good for me. Mm. Watch when you get a little uh, in more. Gets a little blue rare. It's cold. Actually, you you want more? Yours a little more done? No man, this is warmed up. It's cold and it's blue rare. Is it blue rare? Yeah. I got rushed by somebody. Just kidding. Mistake. I, I did the mistake. 
Well, no, man, this is this is me. This is really good. You want? Oh, yeah, I'm crushing. I'm literally crushing this. But if you want to recook it, yeah. I just want to warm it up a bit. Okay. You want yours warmed up? I mean, I want to warm everything up though. <laughs> Are you a drinker? I have the, uh, I, I get pretty flushed. I don't know if you can see it on my face right now, but... Yeah, you're pretty red. <laughs> no joke. It's not my fault, man. You're pretty red, man. I just don't have that enzyme. Okay, try the king crab. Okay. Like this part, I'll say okay. this part is salty, but when you get into the body, it's good. But for me, guys, you have to squeeze that juice out. I don't know, just for me. Give it a try. I mean... I've seen you squeeze the juice out. Yeah, I don't know. I, I just don't like the juice in it. Yeah. But you give it a try. Just try it without the juice. And you just cut it. Oh. Nice. Cut it right through. Just straight up cut through, man. These shears are legit. I didn't tell what you cut, but some people guessed it, so. Yeah, I commented. I'm not even sure if I snitch or dry snitch on you, <laughs> but. I don't know. <laughs> no, it should be good. Uh, no, well, in the U.S., I don't. I mean, you can still cut it, but well, we don't have we don't have that anymore here, right? No, we don't have. For those that are wondering, it's pennies. He snitched on himself. Right? <laughs> you can cut a pen. Low key, you snitched on yourself. I didn't say anything. You don't have to say anything. Man. You just you just need to feed me, man. <clears throat> hey, try man. try it without the Cajun sauce. No, try yeah, try without the Cajun sauce, or try without the. Uh, squeezing it okay. and try it with the squeezing. Yeah, that's the best part. Oh, yeah. That's the best part. Okay. okay, so even though I use my hands, I'll be a gentleman. You gotta squeeze it out, guys. Salty? Okay. Okay. I I see what you mean by the uh, the saltiness. The water, eh? Yeah, I'm using it out. Um, just dip a bit. You don't have to dip a lot. Just tiny. Is that too much? Way too much. Do you squeeze it? No. Hmm. What do you feel about it? I'm not gonna lie. I think you squeeze that one out. You just squeeze it out. You want to squeeze it? Yeah. <laughs> Oh god, man. It's much sweeter. What'd you say? Yeah. I kinda know what you mean now. It's uh it is really salty and then once you squeeze out all the water or that excess, then you just have like nothing but crab meat. So that's really good. Like right? Yeah yeah. Whoa! Oh! Dude, I'm so glad your foot wasn't Almost five minutes. minutes. Dude, you almost died. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that is dangerous. <laughs> I was scared for my life. Just kidding. See, it feels like you're cutting cardboard, right? Yeah, it is. It actually feels like I'm just cutting through. Yeah, I guess cardboard, yeah. Cardboard, paper. Is this your first time eating king crab? Mm-hmm. Um, What's your feel about king crab? I don't know. Different? It's really good. Have, have you eaten uh, Dungeness crab before? Yes. What does it compare to Dungeness crab? <clears throat> Would you prefer Dungeness crab over a king crab? I said Dungeness crab over a king crab because it's fresh. I, I have to agree with you there. And plus, it's like, like every Chinese restaurant ha mm -hmm. has the Dungeness crab. Mm -hmm. And then they cook it like with all the noodles and stuff. Mm -hmm. and, Super spicy, or I feel like dungeon this ground is so much sweeter. I think because it's fresh. Mm. Went to a metal show yesterday. How was that, dude? It was so fire. Well, what was the metal show like? So um, who's uh, like the band was called Winter Sun. Yeah, and they're a very like they're a European metal band, and they're, 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 dude, each song is like 14 minutes long, man. Holy smoke. Yeah. And I think they played 10 songs yesterday. Or mm -hmm. er, 8 to 10 songs or something, plus mm -hmm. the encore. Mm -hmm. Man, it was so good. Like, uh, we went to the Starlight Room and then it was just like really well produced. Like, the sound mm -hmm. was good, the, the, the lighting was really good too. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing, what most people don't realize is like, I'm a huge metalhead, love it. 
<laughs> An Asian guy that loves metal. I know, but I don't look like it. Yeah. So, for me, some like my favorite metal bands are like Kill Switch Engage, mm -hmm. Cross Faith right now. Mm -hmm. And then I can still like hang out with uh, with like hip hop or like R&B mm -hmm. or whatever. Like I really like Post Malone. Mm -hmm. There's uh, a new artist, her name is Morgan Saint. Mm -hmm. She's so good too. But I was wondering because you cook so much, I was surprised that you don't listen to music while you're cooking. Mm -hmm. So do you actually like, what do you I listen can't. to? I can't. Cause you're filming. Yeah, cause I'm filming. I can't because it's a film. I don't, I'm not. It's a. It'll be copyrighted. Yeah. <laughs> if I use like people's music, right? Mm. Yeah. So I can't. But I do listen to music when like when the camera's off. Oh. What, what you did listen I listen to today? It's a Motown music. You like Motown? You listen to Motown? Yeah, I love Motown. I think Motown's awesome though. That's where all the feeling is. Then. You might say metal has a lot of feeling in it. I say Motown. Motown has good feeling in it. Like Sam Cook, have you ever heard of Sam Cook? Have you ever heard of Polyphia? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> or like Pill Me? Or no, what, what is it called? Heavy Metal? Um, there's some bands like okay, so Polyphia and Pill Me, um, they don't sing. There's no singers. It's all, all instrumental. Mm. And then there's like guys like Tobin Abasi who who just just they're so talented on the guitar. So for me, I don't listen to lyrics yeah. unless it's like I really want to catch the feels too. Yeah, yeah. But when it comes to like music that's instrumental, I really enjoy it because like every day can be like a different interpretation yeah. of like that same song that you listen yeah. to over and over and over again. It's like EDM songs, right? Mm. Like some EDM songs you're like, ns, 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 and some songs you're just like. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know that feeling, right? Mm -hmm. But it's like the same song. So like. Wait, so do you listen to music when you work out then? or Because for me, I actually listen to podcasts. Oh, you listen to podcasts? Yeah, when I work out, I listen to podcasts. I know it's not like super hype, unless I'm trying to go for like a PR or something. But yeah, I, I actually listen, listen to, to whatever. I, I kind of listen to whatever besides metal. I think metal is too hardcore for me. Like, the, uh, that's not. Really? That's metal, right? Like, uh, 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 like that stuff, right? It could be. I hit you in the head! Right? <laughs> Very positively mm -hmm. aggressive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the mosh pit. Have you been in a mosh pit? Yeah, I was there yesterday. Like, what do you do in a mosh pit? You just body each other. Like, I see people swinging at each other. No, that's like hardcore dancing. Oh, mosh pit is just like, oh, you're really close to me, and you shove mm -hmm. each other, and then it's just like a big circle. What's the one where some, I have seen some like a video where somebody was just like this. He's like wailing, and some girl like walked by, and he's like, bam. <laughs> Yeah, well, that one. That's, that pretty, one? that's pretty much hardcore dancing, man. Mm. Where they're just like arms flailing and whatever. That's wild, man. But I'm into like, do you know what I'm into right now? Meme dancing. Meme dancing. What's like, meme you dancing? know, like the shooting, like woo, woo. Oh, woo. Like, what's popular right now? Right? Yeah. Trending. What's trending? Really ridiculous mm. dancing, like mm. the uh, what was it? Uh, the floss. Mm. Mm. I can't do that. I don't think I'll ever do that. That's uh. But I'll do the other ones though. Can you do it? The floss? Mm. No. Oh. And then I start pulling it out. <laughs> Wait, do you watch anime or no? Yeah, don't, don't try to expose me. <laughs> <laughs> Have you heard of uh, this anime called Naruto? Naruto? Naruto. Is it Naruto? Naruto. Well, man. I don't know. You know what? I, I just stopped playing games. I just started working more. Yeah. So, what's happening this month or whatever? So. So this is the bear thing I'm doing, mm. but that's not uh, until later, and that's like with Taylor. And then there's selling knives full time. I actually have to go to a different city to do a trade show, so mm. I'll like run trade shows for like three days, but then I'll go up to that city and live there for like a week or two weeks just that's to like, get all my sales and servicing mm. done. Mm. So it's like, you know, like all the company trips or like the awards are like super glamorous. Yeah. So this year's trip is to New Orleans. Yeah. And, and so we can take a cruise ship to Belize, right? Never been to Belize, never been to New Orleans. Mm -hmm. But I gotta grind. Yeah. Like I gotta go and like. What, what, what do you mean when you have to go to a trip? Like what, what, what do you do in a trip? Like so. 
that's like the company trip. So that's the type of trip that you just go and you party. So it's like oh. a whole, the premise of like a commission job is like work hard, play hard. Yeah, yeah. Or play hard. Mm -hmm. So what's your, like what's your plan or your goal for that? Like do you want to maybe get a house and just start hosting? Whoever wants to come by, eat, just come by. That's all it is. You guys can come by if you guys want. Yo, swing by, man. Date Wilson. Anybody that wants to date Wilson, that's just Brady. <laughs> You come by and eat too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you trying to be my Bring your girlfriend? Yo, are you trying to be my wingman right now online? Uh, yeah. Yo, I'm gonna get so many DMs. <laughs> DM him, ladies. <laughs> Chinese, oh, Chinese and looking. Actually, I okay, okay. That's a that's a really funny transition then. So I don't judge. I don't care. I'll date anyone, anyone, like anyone. No, I said you're Chinese and you're looking. Oh, okay. <laughs> I need to look at them. Well, who, you, you'll date anyone. Yeah, I, I'll date anyone. Mm -hmm. They just have to be super cool. Yeah. Um, what am I doing? I have some already. Jeez, you're crazy. <clears throat> Not to get super deep, mm -hmm. but there's this book called The Compound Effect by Darren Hardy. Mm -hmm. And I think it was like chapter two or chapter three. Yeah. Where <clears throat> he's like, hey, you have to, like write down the perfect woman for you or the, your perfect significant other or your wife or mm -hmm. whoever. Mm -hmm. And all the attributes, it could be physical, it could just be emotional, spiritual, da 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 da. Mm -hmm. So, I was like, you know what, whatever, I'll humor it, I'll write down the right, I'll write down all the attributes. I wrote about like a full page mm -hmm. of just like attributes of what I would like to find in somebody. Mm -hmm. But here's the twist. What he says is that whatever attributes you would like in your significant other, yeah. you actually have to have that type of personality as okay. well. Mm -hmm. So if you're like, Oh, I want a girlfriend, or I want a girl that's like super genuine or yeah. super fun. And you have to be outgoing. Like, you have to be like what you're what you're saying. Yeah, so yeah. it's kind of like one of those attraction things. It's like, mm -hmm. oh, you want a girlfriend that's gonna take you out of your comfort zone and be super outgoing. Yeah. Well, if you're a bedroom warrior playing video <laughs> games yeah, yeah, yeah. and not going out and socializing, yeah. then you can't attract that type of yeah, person. Yeah. That's true. So, and, and I, I mean, you take it with a grain of salt, but that's how I feel. It's just like. <laughs> now he's now he's doing the squeeze. Now he's squeezing everything now. Yeah, I can. You see gotta why. squeeze it out. You gotta squeeze it out. People are like, why you're not buying good quality king crab? Oh, you hear that? Did you chip your tooth? I don't know. <laughs> you're good. You're good. Yeah. It's good. <laughs> you hear that though? Yeah, it's like sand or something. That's why I don't eat Prince Edward Island's mussels, guys. <laughs> I only eat New Zealand. Shout out to New Zealand. Shout out to people who like to drink water. <laughs> Shout out to people who like to breathe air. <laughs> Shout them out. <laughs> Shout them all out. Raise your hand up. It's like... You like air? You like air? Raise your Yo, hand. give me that. <laughs> 10 out of 10. O2, man. Unless you're in China, then you have to like buy air from Banff. Yo, that's crazy. I've seen that. People are selling air? Yeah. I seen that two chains, two chains episode. That's People hard. are buying air from Batman. We live Batman two, three hours away. Three hours, three hours away. Mm -hmm. Have you gone to a few weddings yet this year? Mm. I've been to two weddings. What's up? Two Vietnamese weddings. Have you been to a Vietnamese wedding? Just wild, man. I've been to a whitewashed Vietnamese wedding. <laughs> so I don't know. that. Um. Green tea and Hennessy, mm -hmm. open bar, mm -hmm. lots of beat music. Very loud. Extremely loud. <laughs> Do they yell in the microphone? But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. Why? Well, I don't know. Why, I do guys yell? <laughs> Why do you guys yell? Why are you yelling at me? Stop <laughs> it. <laughs> the, <laughs> the microphone's there for you to not yell. But the Vietnamese always yell in the microphone. I don't know why. So at the wedding. Well, we're like five or six speakers, like right in front of you. Just go at it. Just like, hello, welcome. <laughs> like, whoa. Yo, chill, Bro. man. Why are you yelling at Bro. me? Um, did does your mom listen to the TV at maximum volume? Hundred percent. Yep. And yep. And they're just like really close to it too, mm -hmm. and it's just like so loud. Or when they talk to their friends, they're yelling. <laughs> they're yelling straight to the phone. Did just your friends do that? Because you can't see me doesn't mean you need to yell at yeah. me <laughs> over the phone. Maybe it's an Asian thing, right? Yeah. Your parents do that, right? Yeah. Do they yell they at yell? you? 
I mean, they just yell at me in general. <laughs> just straight up. They're just like, like, hello, Wilson. Just real straight up in the morning. I wonder why. See, it's like people in France, mm. and or, or like when people who speak French or Spanish mm. or like Portuguese, it's so like romantic. Yeah, yeah. But you can't be like romantic like mm. in Chinese or yeah. Vietnamese yeah, yeah. or... Yeah. I mean, I'm only gonna say those two because mm -hmm. that's what I can relate to, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it really talk. depends, I'll say. I, I'll say it's romantic, like, sometimes when I watch, like, Vietnamese or Korean. Would you say okay. Korean? Like, there's a lot of Korean drama. Going okay, on. Korean is a lot of Haseo. Yeah. Da 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 Haseo. Da 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 Haseo. I, I watched my first Korean, um, what Drama? Gay drama? drama? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> okay, your first gay drama? And that was the most amazing thing ever. I think it really? was called um, The Rising Sun. You guys watch that? Have you watched that? No. So much drama in there. Do you know what has a lot of drama? Hmm. No freedom. Does it? Dude. When Rock Lee got his leg crushed, <laughs> crushed Ara, yeah. episode 48 to like 50, mm -hmm. man, that was like, mm -hmm. the feels. Anyways. Mm -hmm. So. Yo, dude, someone's gonna hate on you for that. I know. No, there's. What? They're like, yo, Wilson's back in. No, not back in. No, Wilson. <laughs> talking with a knife. <laughs> and, 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 and I got left handed. Mm. So here's the thing. If you're trying to pick up a girl in your language, mm. what would you say? In English, it's, mm. it's like, you know, you can be very. You can have a lot of wit. You can mm. be very mm. swab, like swabby or whatever you want to call it. But in, in Vietnam. It's different, different dialect. I say different. It's different, kind of like. I think when you want to pick up a girl. <laughs> if you want to pick up a girl in Vietnam, I'll, I'll, I'll say a majority of guys would just like straight up be like, Am I? Like pretty much just like, Hey lady. Okay. Yeah, okay. Just like straight up, Hey lady. And she's just like, ah, ah, ah. I don't know. I think it's just different the culture wise. So in my head, like you could be like, Oh, you could be like, Oh baby, like, what are you doing? Yeah. yeah. You know, like you could, but then it's like your tonality, yeah. the way you see it, like the the context of it. But in like Cantonese, I'll be like, hey, BB, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're like, oh, <laughs> kind of rudely, what right? is that even? Yeah. Like, what what is that? Is it kind of like rudely? No, I think I think it. No, that's like grade three Chinese. Oh. <laughs> so now <laughs> they're like, think, does this guy have like I, a problem or an issue? I think it's kind of different because like, okay. In Vietnamese, I, I think in Vietnamese it's kind of like trolling, kind of. Because when guys would be like, am I? Like, yeah. am I? Like, as trolling wise, right? Yeah. And like, oh, hey, what are you doing? I'm, they're like, oh, yeah. I'm, just, I'm not doing anything but hearing this. But then, like, in English, it's like, hey, baby. Like, oh, I don't know. Do they say yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Like, how do they say it in English? Uh, like, hey, what? No, yeah, it's kind of trolling, too, right? You want to make the girl laugh before you, you get a number, right? You do. What's your pickup line? How about that? What's your pickup line? I have no pickup line. Yeah. I have nothing but confidence. So yeah. if I <coughs> find someone really attractive, mm. I think I would approach them and be like, hi, I find you super attractive. I would love to buy you a coffee. Or That's very to... polite. It's super polite because I, I don't want to be a, like a jerk about it or like, you, do you know what I mean? It's just like nothing. Would you pull up a joke? Contextually depending. Mm. It just like, it literally depends. But if it's like, a stranger walking across, and I'm just like, oh, yeah. like that person caught my eye. I'd be like, yeah. hey, I find you attractive. I'd love to buy you a drink. However, if yeah. you are, uh, if you are taken or you have a significant other, yeah, you know, yeah. please take my word. As <laughs> Why do you say that? Yeah, I gotta give myself an out. I gotta give myself an out. He's way too polite. <laughs> He's way too polite. I think you're way too polite when you say that. It's just on camera, man. <laughs> In reality, I'm a jerk. <laughs> I treat you terribly. I, I, I think ladies will like more of a guy who's just more or less like easygoing. And just like, you know, crack a joke in the beginning. You know what? Rather than hey, um, bring you a flower, be like, I think you're the most beautiful, more, most decadent woman ever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna eat you. Like, <laughs> like I don't think girls would like that. Would you? Okay, if it's I don't know because I've been single for a long time. So this <laughs> recently single, yeah. but I think you just need to slide into people's DMs with the dankest memes, man. I think memes, memes, yeah. I think that's like the culture right the now. The new thing right now. It's just like you gotta make your significant. Yo, other what's your Instagram? That's so creepy. <laughs> right? No, I think that's a thing now, though. Yeah. But <clears throat> if you have enough confidence, mm. then you just walk up to be like, "Hey, 
I find you super attractive, would love to like buy you a coffee, even though you're in the coffee shop. Yeah. So it'd be like, I'd like to take you out to something else. And yeah. then you get super scared and you peace out. <laughs> That's what you do, you just leave. You're like, <laughs> leave. You overthink everything and like, what did I say? Oh my God. <laughs> did I look at her? I don't remember. Oh, I didn't get a phone number. Yeah. Oh my God, I just literally walked away from her. You know what? I never ever done that ever in my life. The only time I met a girl was um, from a friend. Like okay. a friend of a friend. I think that, that's that usually how it works, works, right? Acquaintances and stuff. I would like say that. that would be more comfortable than just going up to be like, "Hi, my name is so and so." What so is it? Here's the thing. What do you have to lose? Mm -hmm. And this is like me being a salesperson right now. It's mm -hmm. like, okay, I can call up. Uh, I, I can cold call. Mm -hmm. Right. I can do my pitch. Mm -hmm. What's the worst that they're gonna say? No. Okay. You do the same thing. Mm -hmm. You walk up to this really, really pretty girl, mm. and you're like, you do your pitch, or you you try to like exude confidence. Mm. What's the worst that they're gonna say? No. Okay, mm. and you just walk away. That's true, and that's it. So I think. But then your ego is just like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> right now, I only say two things: I mm. sell knives and I grant wishes. Yeah, yeah. Because I I run a charity mm. as well. But like for you, if I'm like, oh. I'm a stranger. Hey, Kwon, what do you do for a living? Or you, do you say, oh, I'm a YouTuber, I'm a chef, I'm a... Like, what do you say? I'm a home cook. You're a I home cook? Know. I don't know what I'd say. What do you say? You just don't go out there. <laughs> yeah, I Just avoid people at all costs. I do, but I do. Really? I actually haven't been out for a while, man. It's okay, I'll take you out. I got the hookups. I, I, this guy does have the hookups. I would like to... I, I think that that's like one thing I'm kind of shy or afraid of. Meeting new people. Really? It's weird because I'm doing YouTube too, right? Yeah. I think it's a weird thing because it's like meeting new people. But like when I see, like I'm so grateful for meeting people here that watch my video. Yeah. <clears throat> but it's kind of different when they come up to me because I don't know them, but they, they know me. So it's kind of weird when they're just like, Go on! They're like, oh, who's this? <laughs> like one time, there's these guys. I think there are five guys. <clears throat> Legit, I thought they were going to jump me. <laughs> Legit, I thought they were going to jump me. Like, no, this one guy was just like, very big guy, yeah. very big husky guy. He's like, go on! Like, he legit like, hit that. super aggressive. Yeah, he's like, go on! I was like, oh, shoot. Okay, I'm trying to figure out, like, how I'm gonna, how I'm gonna dis, like, dismantle these guys. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> legit. But then they're just so friendly. This is what my dad taught me. My dad was, like, super cool because he's like this. It doesn't matter what time you go to bed. Mm. What matters is your commitment the next day. Mm. You have to go through with it. Yep. So if you decide to party mm. till five in the morning, mm. but you know you work at nine in the morning, you mm. better wake up at eight o'clock, take a shower, and go to work by nine. Mm. Mm -hmm. Right? It doesn't matter what you did that night, as long as whatever commitment you have the next day yep. gets follow through with it, and that's yeah. what makes it so much more fun. Yeah. And this is where you get like the crazy stories, like. Bro, I was out till like 7 in the morning, mm. I took like a quick nap, mm. I woke up, took a shower, and then I worked like an 8 hour shift. Yeah. Like I bet you there, how many of you did that? Where you guys go, you go to a rave, you party, but and you, you felt like crap in the morning. You <laughs> felt horrible, like awful, 100%. but you're like, yeah. oh you're I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, well, fun. I gotta get it, yeah. I gotta get my money, right? right? And mm. you're like, and then you go and you grind, maybe mm. you don't do it every single yep. day. But you do it like, I don't know, three times a week. <laughs> yeah. But you're tired. I, I know 100% you're tired, man. You're dead. But it does not matter because you committed that day to yeah. whatever job you needed to do. I like that. I you like do that. it. But if you're going to party till like 7 in the morning and then sleep until 7 at night. Yeah. And you already missed half the entire day. Mm. And then you become a flake where it's like, oh, hey, oh, I'm sorry. I'm yeah. so tired. I got to like. Yeah, yeah. And nobody wants to invite you to stuff. Yeah, yeah. But even if you're dead tired, here's the thing. No one really cares but everyone cares yeah. right they don't care what you did that night they care about are you on time or are you yeah. going to commit to that thing that we just like full to. responsibility for yeah. your own actions right? yeah it's yeah. just accountability yeah that's all it is so that's what my dad taught me was like that's awesome it's yeah. so to translate that it's just accountability yeah that's it yeah. it's like i don't care what you do as long as you follow through with it and you hold yourself accountable